these are hot off the printer and on my Etsy shop. Let me know if you want a specific print because I could easily print it out even though if it's not on my Etsy shop right now. I'm just packing some orders while talking to my mom on the phone. She's in China right now. Hi mom if you see this. Oh, it's raining today. Well, not in the video, but where I am right now. I like rainy days because you're not expecting much from it. I feel like sunny days, you're always kind of feel pressured to seize the day or whatever and enjoy it. But you could take rainy days just as the way it is. A rainy, cloudy, gloomy day. <laughs> bit of a mess this morning um i think i'm gonna attempt the wheel again just because i feel a little stressed and i need to like do something therapeutic so maybe the wheel would help You farted. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my boyfriend to finish his job. Staying in the car with his dog, George. I started reading this last night and I'm like, Almost halfway. It's really good. Good morning. I just got my package for some ceramic glazes and I thought it would be fun if we opened them together. Um, it says order has items to follow so I don't think this is like the whole thing. Oh, this is like 
a crackle so it's transparent and you just put it over your ceramics and it like gives that cracked effect that I thought would be really cool um, This one. Oh, this is the matcha mat. Oh, I'm excited to do that. Usually I glaze it with something shiny, but this is more matte and it has that like rusty but also like matcha green feel to it. Um, I feel like that would be really earthy and cute. And this one. What's this? Oh, speckled stone brown. They don't have an image on this one, but I can show you a picture later. It's just like a stone color, but it's got like speckles on it. And sand glimmer. Oh, I was also excited about this one because it's kind of like it's also matte and like kind of crusty it's got like sand texture and also like bits of like sh glimmer you know how sand has some glimmer because there's like minerals in it so also it might be cool to see how these just layer on top of each other and create whatever effects so now that we have all the glazes it's time to actually make some more ceramics so we have something to glaze I also have some orders that I need to ship out for my Etsy shop. Um, it's so nice to see how all my prints get shipped off to different parts of the world. France and Germany are like the popular countries that I ship to. I don't know why, but thank you. And there's also Spain and like Croatia and the Netherlands and Sweden. I just opened up the US part, so there's like a lot from back home. It's incredible. Thank you guys. I know some of us may not have access to ceramic studios and that will also be my case when my school goes on Easter break for a little bit. So I went on Skillshare and found a class called Ceramics at Home by Emily Reinhardt. She guides you through on building, prepping for fire, and glazing. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take thousands of classes. Traditional jobs are not one-size-fits-all, especially in the modern society, and as a freelance artist, I'm always trying to design a career that fits me. It's free the first month if you're the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description box below. Go check out Skillshare now! This is my friend Charlotte's little exhibit. She's so talented.
Do not attempt to eat the rocks. She's just one of those people that can draw freehand with like traditional things and make it look so good. I love it. I'll tag her um, <clears throat> our Instagram. And I actually haven't really seen much of her recent works. But it's really nice to see them in person. And I love this so much. Good morning, or probably afternoon. I think it's past 12 now. I tried to get here at 10 a.m., but my body just could not move and it laid in bed for like an hour staring into space. I wasn't even scrolling on my phone or anything. I was just feeling so tired and sleepy this morning. But we're here and that's better than not showing up at all. Today I'm gonna be tufting something. I have an idea that's gonna go towards my MA project proposal. Um, I don't think I have the mental capacity to like explain it on the spot here so it's probably going to be a voiceover that I try over and over again to say it right. <laughs> Anyways, let's tuft. So first we need to, you see how that's like the oblong shape that you buy it in but then we need to spin it so it's like in a perfect circle so like when you tuft there's not going to be any knots or like it's not going to get caught in anything so they're all in like balls of two because um, the yarn is just too thin so I need to use like two strands and put it through the gun so like it'll tuft so the tuft looks lush and thick if you know what I mean otherwise if I just use one strand it'll look kind of sparse so my MA project focuses on celebrating young Asian women like myself and using illustration to create a safe space. I've noticed that a lot of my drawings are composed with an internal environment eluding this feeling of being in a closed safe space. So I thought it would be interesting to just create and tuft the space without the characters of the illustration. For this part of my MA, we have to do a live external project, meaning we need to incorporate external aspects like doing a survey among a population or exhibiting in a space that's open to the public. I'm hoping that I can find a venue and exhibit somewhere in Plymouth. I also think tufting just the space is interesting because a rug is mostly made for people for their homes and spaces and it would be cool to see the rug hung on a wall with the original illustration next to it and then having people in the room again conveying this idea of being in like this safe environment 